Hey there, welcome to this tutorial. Before we start, kindly subscribe to the channel, like my videos and share it with your friends. Today we are going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 2 Extended Variant 2-3 October-November 2018. The first question. Work out 7 over 11 of 198 kilogram. Of means multiply. So it's a very easy question. You just have to put in the calculator. Multiply by 198. And you will get the answer 126. Next question, factorize. What is common here? Factorize means you remove the common out. If you expand this bracket, you will get y minus 2y. y square means 2y. So this y is common in this equation. So we remove the y out and we'll be left with 1 minus 2y. Third question, work out 1.45 as a percentage of 72.50. Whenever we have to find a percentage, we multiply by 100. So 1.45 over 72.50 multiply by 100 is two percentage. Question number four, calculate. So we have been given these numbers. We just have to put in the calculator and we will get zero points, uh, sorry, 6.5948. When we round it to two decimal place, the answer is 6.59. Question number five, work out. So we have been given a number in a bracket, two numbers in a bracket and the exponent power is negative. Whenever you have a negative exponent powers, the numbers inside the bracket, you flip it over. So make the denominator as the numerator and the numerator as the denominator like this. And then your power will be positive two over three. Put this in the calculator and your answer is nine over 25. Question number six A. Write the number 5,207 in figures. So we'll have 5,207. Part B, write 0 0.00813 in standard form. When we are writing in standard form, we can have only one digit before the decimal. So we have to move the digit one, two, and three places, 8.13. If you move your digit to the right, the power will be negative. Because we move three places, uh, the power is three. And because we moved the digit on the right, it's negative. So it's 8.13 times 10 to the power of negative three. Question number seven is simplify. We have been given four terms. We add the like terms together. So there's a P here and a P here. 2P minus 5P. The numbers before P, you can put in the calculator. 2 minus 5 will give you negative 3P. And then when you put these numbers in the calculator, negative 1 and negative 3, you will get negative 4Q. I hope you are aware that if you have a variable, if it's just like this, it means there's a 1 before it. So therefore, if you have a negative Q, it means there's a negative one there. Moving on to the next question. Write these numbers correct to two significant figures. So we have been given this number. When you have a decimal and the first decimal or you have zeros before the first digit, you do not count that as a number. So your two significant figures are going to count start from Seven is your first significant figure and six is the second. So it's going to be here. You have to round it to two significant figures. It will be 0 0.076. Next, 10,100. So second significant figure is here zero. It will be 10,000. Question number nine, without using a calculator, work out. We have been given a fraction. 
and we have to show all the working. This is really a very common question and you need to know your fraction very well. And this is a very easy question also. If you have a divide, you write the multiply sign. And the numbers after the divide, you just flip it over, okay? Put this in the calculator and you will get the answer 3 over 8. So, a very easy question. Question number 10. Solve 3w minus 7 is equal to 32. And we have to find the w. The negative 7 when you move to the other side will be positive. So you have 3w is equal to 39. This 3w means 3 multiplied by w. So this 3 when I bring to the other side it will be a divide. w is equal to 39 divided by 3. Therefore w is equal to 13. Question number 11, we have been given this equation. We have to arrange this formula to make L the subject. L is on the left-hand side. Your subject should always be on the, sorry, L is on the right-hand side. Your subject should always be on the left-hand side. So we can just write this whole equation, pi r L plus pi r square is equal to, and the A on the right hand side. This is a plus when I move to the other side, it will be a negative. And pi r means pi r, pi multiplied by r multiplied by l. Therefore, l is equal to a minus pi r square divided by pi r l. Sorry, not l, pi r. Therefore, l is equal to a minus pi r square over pi r. Question number 12. The area of a square is 42.5 square centimeter. Correct to the nearest 0 0.5 square centimeter. Calculate the lower bound of the length of the side of the square. This is correct to the nearest 0 0.5 square centimeter. You should always remember whatever they write and tell us correct to the nearest, we divide it by 2. So 0 0.5 divided by 2 will give us 0 0.25. This is the number we add or subtract for the bound. If it is a lower bound, we are going to subtract this number. If it is an upper bound, we will add this number to our original number. We have to find the lower bound. So therefore, lower bound of 42.5 will be 42.25. Subtract from 42.5, 0 0.25, okay? And what is the area of the square? Area of the square is equal to side square. And area we found is 42.25. To find the length of the side, we will uh, square root, this is square, to find the side, we will square root this answer and get 6.5 as the side. So the length is 6.5 centimeter. Question number 13. Change the recurring decimal 0.18. The dot tells us that 8 is recurring. Recurring means it is repeated to a fraction. You must show all your working. So the first thing, let x equal 0 0.18. And then times by 10, everything. So you will get 10x is equal to 1.8. The recurring is there. This number after the decimal must be same. We don't have it same. So now for the second time, first we multiplied by 10. Now we are going to multiply by 100. And we will get 100x is equal to 18.8. .8. Correct? This is 888. So this multiply by 100, will the decimal will come here. And this is the repeated number. After this, 
from 100x will subtract 10x is equal to 1.8 you must remember and never forget that the number after the decimal must be same if you don't get it then if you're multiplying by 100 and you don't get it multiply by 1000 till you get the number same now that when we subtract it 100 minus 10 will give us 90x and this will get cancelled and 18 minus 1 is 17 therefore x is equal to 17 over 90. Question number 14 is a transformation represented by the matrix from 2020. Matrix is not a part of your syllabus so we can skip this question. Question number 15. A car travels at 108 km per hour for 20 seconds. Calculate the distance the car travels. Give your answer in meters. We have been given speed 108 km per hour. And the time has been given to us 20 seconds. But the answer we need is in meters. To find distance, we use the formula speed multiplied by time. Our speed is 108 km per hour and time is 20 seconds. 108 km per hour can be written as kilometer per one hour multiplied by 20 seconds. But as we have to have the answers in meters, we will have to change the kilometer into meter by multiplying by 1000 and the hour to seconds. So one hour has 60 minutes and 60 minutes has 60 seconds times 20. This will give us 600. So the answer is 600 meters. Okay, so 16a, simplify w to the power of 2 over w to the power of 3. This is division. And whenever you are having division in indices or exponents, if the variable is the same, you have a w and a w. So we subtract the powers. 2 minus 3. This will give us w to the power of negative 1. You can leave it like this or write it as 1 over w. Part B, simplify. Remember that whenever you have a power outside and you have terms inside, that power is applicable to each term inside. So you will write 3 to the power of 3 and w3 to the power of 3. 3 to the power of 3 is 27. And when you have in a bracket like this, we multiply the powers. So 3 multiplied by 3, 9. So your answer is w27, w to the power of 9. Question number 17 is a proportional question. Y is directly proportional to the square root of x. When we have directly proportional, the rule is y is equal to k to the square root of x. Square root of x. And we have to find k by substituting the values that are given to us. So when y is 6, x is 9. And k is going to be 6 divided by square root 9. Uh, this is the multiply. That's why when we move to the other side, it will be a divide. And you will get 2 is equal to k. Now write the equation with the k. y is equal to 2 square root x. You have been given x is equal to 25. Replace the x with 25. Just put it in the calculator and you will get 10. Therefore, y is equal to 10. This brings us to the end of this video. For question number 18 onwards, please watch the part 2. Thank you for watching.